Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm coming to you with another haul. So we'll see what I got this time. This is just a few fragrances that I picked up over the last like couple of months. Hopefully I'll slow down uh, with the purchasing, but I try to balance it out with like selling some of the fragrances and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get it going. So the first fragrance I want to mention is one that I got off of eBay. It was one that I had missed out on when they were running a deal on one of the local shops here. And it's a expensive perfume for what it is and the prices have gone up. So this one is from the house of Ella K. This is one is called Poem de Sagano. I believe the name is on the side. So the, when these originally came out, they came in 70 ml bottles. And so that's what this one is, a 70 ml. Now it's a great citrus, aromatic, fruity type of fragrance. And it was released in 2018. And the notes on it are simple. It just has bamboo, yuzu, grapefruit, mint, bergamot, and eucalyptus. It was one that I was trying to chase down and I and uh, this is probably my second bottle that I have bought uh, used from someone. And so I got it for a really good price, but I really wanted to get it in for a long time and I finally did. So uh, that's probably like one of the first things I picked up on this haul. Moving on. The next fragrance I want to mention is one that I only picked up because on Fragrantica it said it smelled similar to Poem de Sagano. And this one's from the house of Cartier. This one is called Eau de Cartier Zeste de Soleil. So this is a discontinued fragrance. Um, this one is a 100 ml bottle. Uh, it, again, it is discontinued. It was released in 2013. And the notes on it are even more simple. It does have the mint in it, but it has yuzu and passion fruit. And I can say it is very similar to Poem de Sagano. Uh, it is a, a very fleeting scent. This is an eau de toilette, but the reason I did get the 100 ml, but uh, initially I got this. A uh, 200 ml bottle of this is, is what I uh, initially picked up on eBay. I believe I got it for like $95, which is about the same price that I got for this locally. But I wanted to get it in uh, to smell it before I bought the 200 ml bottle. My goal is to um, just basically have a good collection of summer type scents, some citrus scents. Because they don't last very long, I do want to try to get them in 200 ml bottles. So if I find a good citrus scent or a summery type scent that I like, and if it's available in 200 ml, I'm going to opt for that. Now, Poem de Sagano is, was only available in 70 ml. They have 100 ml now, but it's extremely expensive. Uh, it's like three times the price as this in a 100 ml bottle, but it, it lasts longer, but how much longer is it gonna last? So I wanted, wanted the 200 ml since I'll run through it anyway, but I love this scent just the same. It is very similar to Poem de Sagano. Moving on. Speaking of 200 ml bottles, I went to the house of Hermes and I got this 200 ml of the Eau de Rubard Scarlet. This was one I wanted to get for a while. I missed out on getting a tester bottle, a 100 ml tester bottle of it. So I've been thinking about it ever since. And um, coincidentally, randomly enough, like living in Kuwait, someone uh, called me they were saying they're from Bloomingdale's. I do shop at Bloomingdale's, but they said that they were gonna send me a 25 KD uh, gift card or, or discount code. So 25 KD is almost like $90. So it's almost $100 off like your purchase. And I, I just thought it was weird that he called that he said they're gonna ship out from Dubai a coupon that I only can use online. So I sort of said whatever. I didn't really give them any personal information. And sometimes people are calling you scamming. Sure enough, someone called me saying that they're outside and they gave me this discount code. So I used that to buy this 200 ml of Eau de Rhubarb Escalade. And um, I'm happy I did because I pretty much got it for the price of the 100 ml bottle. This particular fragrance was released in 2016. Of course, it has rhubarb in it. It has red berries and white musk. And it's just a great 
representation of like the the fruit of rhubarb and also uh, just a summery type of scent to get away from just citruses lemon and bergamot stuff like that so th this is awesome i'm glad i got it in a 200 ml bottle the only thing i don't like about these designs is that they are splash bottles no, they're not splash bottles i'm sorry they do come with the sprayer but once you put the sprayer on the tap the cap doesn't go on so what I've done is I just decanted into like a 50 ml spray bottle and that solves that problem. Moving on. The next fragrance I want to mention is from the House of Chanel. This is an older bottle. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it'd be vintage, but I, can't, I can't, really can't place the date. It's around 2007, 2008 of Ego East. This is a 50 ml bottle of this one this is the eau de toilette it is not the concentrate it's not the platinum ego east so this is the original one and ego east was released in 1990 this one has rosewood uh sandalwood which is famous for tobacco vanilla or some of the notes and this is a fragrance that i have to really get to know people mention something about it's not similar to bois de zeal but it is basically a masculine version uh, a masculine sandalwood fragrance that Chanel wanted to put out at the time. So I got it for a good deal. I wanted to get to know it. Uh, so I picked it up. Moving on. The next fragrance I want to mention is one that I have mentioned in one of my videos before. In one of my fragrance rotation videos. And this one is from the House of Guerlain. And this one is Shalimar Milazim Tonka. So this is one of their... their uh, limited edition renditions or flankers of Shalimar. This one was released in 2022 and some of the notes on it are bitter almond, bergamot, iris, jasmine, tonka bean, and vanilla. It's a great tonka bean forward scent. It reminds me of Tonka Imperial, but I think Tonka Imperial might be a little bit lighter than this. This is, this is heavier. It's a limited edition. I remember seeing a video with uh, Robes08. He picked it up and he said he paid a premium for it. I actually got this lower than uh, than retail price, so I was happy to pick it up. I did test it before I bought it. I did not blind buy it, which I'm trying to stop doing. So I've been doing pretty good for the most part. Moving on. Next up, I'll stick with the House of Guerlain still. This particular fragrance, I, I do own an Eau de Parfum. The um, newer version, I believe, was released in 2019, but this one is the B bottle of Liu. So Liu is the aldehydic floral fragrance. It was originally released in 1929. There's this whole long backstory of um, Guerlain and Chanel competing to who could copy their most famous scent so for chanel it would have been them trying to copy chanel number five and for chanel it was trying to copy Guerlain's uh Chalimar. that's the backstory on it but i love this scent it's a great aldehydic scent it does to, for me it doesn't remind me so much of chanel number five because i i don't own it but i know that it has some alum animalic uh nuances to it if anything, it puts me more in the realm of maybe like a Chanel number no. five Eau Premier because it doesn't have that. It has the soapy aldehydes. So again, it was released in 1929. And some of the notes on it are aldehydes, neroli, bergamot, iris, vanilla, and woodsy notes. So that was the backstory of Liu. I'm, I'm happy that I got this one. Um, I believe this is a 2010 bottle. Um, this is like the splash, but it comes with the sprayer. But what I've done is my normal now decant into a smaller spray bottle. So this is what I've done. I've just put the Liu uh, in here. Next up, I'm going to the House of Dior. This was a, a green sheeper that I had been wanting to pick up for a while. And this one is Miss Dior Original. So I was able to get like a, a slightly older version of this one. It doesn't have uh, Misty or original. It doesn't have original on the title. But this one, I believe, was originally released in 1947. I can't remember. Um, if you know, just let me know in the comments. This version that I have just has uh, galbanum, jasmine, patchouli listed as the notes. This is one I have to get to know. I really wanted to get a uh, the extrait of this. So maybe I'll come across it one day. But maybe I'll come up on the extrait one day for a good price. Um, I saw a couple, but one of them sold. So that's pretty much it. Moving on. Next up is from the House of Chanel. This is one I found a tester bottle of. And this is Cristal 
or the toilet. Again, I was able to find a tester bottle of it. As you see, it'll stay on the back floral uh, tester, whatnot. So Cristal, the EDT is sort of hard to pick up, but uh, like I said in my rotation video, it's having like a moment right now because uh, uh, Chanel did re-release it in new packaging. So I sort of wanted to find a bottle before um, the prices went up, if the formulation changed. I do have a vintage version of the uh, Eau de Parfum from the 90s, um, but I wanted to pick this one up. This is another cheaper fragrance. It was released in 1974. And some of the notes on it are lemon, bergamot, hyacinth, and uh, oak moss. So I don't know what, I forget what year this is from. I don't believe it's like vintage or too old or anything like that, but I was happy I was able to get it at under retail and get the the last original batch before the repackaging moving on the next two fragrances will be from the house of ormond jane this one is ormond woman so i chose this one over ormond man uh, i watched a few videos there's not very many of them about ormond ormond jane fragrances in general but not about ormond woman and ormond man this one is a, a cheaper fragrance some people were saying that they found this one i found it to be unisex as well it's not one i was head over heels for but i found a 50 ml locally so i picked it up ormond woman was released in 2002 it's a cheaper fragrance which is why i was interested in it it has grass cardamom violet jasmine and vetiver it's one that i really have to get to know I only tried it once and I wasn't impressed by it, but I got this one for a, for a steal. So I just decided to pick it up and see if I can begin to get to know the fragrance, especially because it was a 50 ml bottle and not the big 120 ml bottle moving on. The next fragrance again from the house of Ormond Jane, this one is Taif. I do have Taif Elixir. This is the normal Taif that was released in 2004. It does not have oud in it. This is supposedly the first commercial fragrance that, that used Taif Rose in uh, a fragrance. Again, it was released in 2004. It has dates, saffron, Taif Rose, a freshia, orange blossom, and mimosa in it. Those are some of the notes. This is one I sort of like felt like I had to get. I just was looking to get it for a particular price since I did have the elixir and I did get that on the sale. Uh, but that's 50 ml, this is 120 ml. This is a type of fragrance that you can kind of wear all year round. It's not, for me, it's not my favorite rose fragrance. It is a great scent though, moving on. All right, two more fragrances I believe I want to mention. The next one is from the niche house of uh, Ducita Parfums or Parfums Ducita. And this one is called Le Siage Blanc. This was a fragrance I've been keeping my eye on. I did go ahead and get the 50 ml bottle as opposed to the 100 ml bottle. Uh, this again, this is another green Sheeper fragrance. It's, I got it because people were saying it smells similar to Bandy. I do own Bandy. So they said if you wanted a lighter version, maybe get this one. It is a challenging scent. It's funny because Bandy was originally marketed as a woman fragrance, but now just the scent profile of it is very, uh, masculine to me now this one has galbanum artemisia leather oak moss tobacco ambrosine uh, neroli and orange blossom and it is very similar to bandy especially in the opening but the, on the dry down you don't get as many of the uh, animalic or gasoline type of facets that you get from bandy uh, it's a great scent i'm glad that i did pick it up so let's keep it moving and the last fragrance I want to mention in this haul video is back to the house of Chanel. This is one that I wanted for a while. I wasn't sure. I was pretty certain that it wasn't available in Kuwait, but I did find it at Harvey Nichols. And this is Bois de Zeal, the extract or parfum version. So this is a 15 ml bottle. Um, uh, when, I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, since you have it, uh, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Uh, 15 ml parfum version. Bois de Zille was released, originally released in 1926. This one has sandalwood, gingerbread, vetiver, tonka bean, ylang ylang, damask rose, and jasmine uh, are some of the notes. That's not all the notes listed. I'll go ahead and put some on now so I can smell it. I'm actually waiting for 
some bottles to come in so I can decant it uh, into uh, like like a, a decan of five ml of it into a spray bottle. So that's what I'm I'm waiting on right now before I give it a run and see how much I like it. I did own the Auto Parfum, but it wasn't um, it, it didn't project enough for me. So I said if I you know if I came across the Parfum version, I'll go ahead and pick it up. That's what I did. So there you have it. Uh, that was my haul for basically the end of the year. I do have a few more fragrances coming in. I'll try to make videos regarding them um, because they're sort of some of them are some important fragrances you know in my collection just trying to keep up with uh, recording videos with the normal everyday life stuff so please uh, let me know in the comments what are some of the new fragrances that you picked up i've mentioned a lot of designers here uh, but i did have some niche in there so what have you been picking up this year please let please let me know in the comments please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one guys peace